I'm gonna record a little bit here because hi hi Brian hi Brian can you hear me I hear you, but you don't hear me, I think. Oh, you do? I hear you now. Okay, great. Hi. Wait, hold on. It's, it's, my headphones aren't working. My head's feedback. Here. Hold on. I have... My flying skills are much oh. better now. So. Are you a flying maniac? Well, I've done a little touring since the last time I saw you. I've even yeah, used yeah. Uh, tools of hoops and, and, and fire sticks and things. So I'm starting to get the hang of this. Oh, you're an expert. <laughs> I think I've got uh, two friends in the art bus with me. And uh, oh, we, we we've been bopping around to dance clubs and meetups. And I got to catch a friend's talk and a few other things. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So you, you said you had a meeting, so I, I wanted to try and get back here later on this evening. And uh, so pretty. Oh, um, yeah. Um, uh, uh, are you here with, for a tour now? Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna jump in and uh, explore with the folks that I've got here in my in my art bus right now. There's a couple of folks who are watching. Okay. I might have to pass it to Tina halfway through. We're waiting for a delivery, but uh, let's do it. Yeah, sure, sure. Let's. I'll follow you, and you just take me through. All right, great. So we're gonna start by like the front, like we did last time, and then uh, I can explain some of the basic stuff, and then we can go to some of the more of the details throughout, like we did last time. So Brian and Tina. Yes, yeah, so this is Unity Sanctuary. And uh, the artist also made this piece, which has been to Burning Man. And uh, I think they were waiting for a delivery, so they may have to um, come right back and, and talk to us a little bit about it. So um, it's a husband and wife team. Uh, there, there he is. <laughs> I'm right here behind you now. I keep teleporting accidentally. Hi. Oh, what's up? Okay, we're ready for the tour. Yeah, yeah. We've just been exploring around and getting some great shots. We can start at the bottom. All right, great. So you ready? Yeah. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Unity Sanctuary. Unity Sanctuary is a sound and light healing sanctuary. And we're at Burning Man. Welcome home. Um, the inspiration for Unity Sanctuary came uh, uh, from Tina. Tina pretty much inspired a lot, a lot most of this uh, back when I met her. 
in 2015, um, and I, she was in a lantern dress at this amazing party, uh, and she started telling me about her Chinese Beyond Borders collective, where they do the wearable art and they bring it to the playa. Um, That's great, Tina. That's great. Well, you have Evo here, but Evo is driving an art bus with a few people who are silent and watching and appreciating your work tremendously. So thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. I guess that would be my mission is to bring more Chinese people here and our culture and art heritage. But then um, I'm, I embarked on um, trying to solve a hate plan on Duncan Burns. <laughs> um, and I wanted to actually create this very unspecious hate plan on how the wealthy uh, occupy the land that we see here. Uh, it's, you know, it's just a kind of um, film that I've been seeing out there for many years, which is basically the entire camp. Tina, I remember that you and I met and you were wearing this lantern dress and I understand that, are you an architect or a designer by, by trade? Uh, actually, um, I uh, went to school for architecture, so I'm a trained architect, and then I never practiced. I actually went into marketing and for hospitality, so by trade, my trade actually changed. Um, and so... Uh, Oh, I'm I'm mo I'm rotating my camera around and getting a couple of shots. I'm muted because I'm rotating around and getting a number of shots. So I'm getting some of you talking and some of the art, and I'm just moving my camera around so that we can get a couple of different views. Okay, no problem. Yeah, so we can go inside to talk with you alive. Yeah, let's explore so inside. This is a good advantage point for Brian to tell you uh, uh, how he came up with this idea of the sanctuary and what it means and uh, why there are many lanterns that big uh, and what is each of them. So I'll just let him tell you this. Great. So I came up with the idea. Uh, the concept of community sanctuary um, about five years ago when uh, I created one of the sculptures that we have in here and um, you know inspired by Tina as well and unity sanctuary is a sound and light healing sanctuary uh, there are eight lanterns in here uh, on in the air and there's one on the ground the ones in the air are actually all the healing centers each one has an altar inside of it. And the main uh, one down here 
is like the main kind of like stadium where larger healing events will happen. So we can go inside and go over a little bit more of the actual sculptures in here and more of the idea behind it. take you to translate your physical art into virtual art? Uh, the physical art, well, the virtual art, like, the beautiful thing about uh, the art is uh, I had created this model already to actually create the sculpture. So um, I had this uh, digital art existing already, and one of the, the beautiful things about that is I created a build model. So every single piece is there that I used to actually build it. So anyone who comes into this world to experience it will actually have the ability to fly through it and see how it was made. Uh, which is, I feel is one of the nicest benefits of uh, doing stuff here in the, in the virtual reality. Right. And not to mention having so transparency think... and being able to fly through walls and all of those sorts oh, of yeah, definitely, wonders definitely. too. 
So I'm going to give it over to Tina. She's going to do a little bit more of the tour while I go take care of them. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's come up to the to the balcony. Cool. It's I'll really come up nice from up there. You start to see the other scenes now. Hey, yeah. Evo. It's yeah. fun to kind of run around uh, on this balcony because the rings make a really cool effect. Yes, Jesse. And She's, Brian, uh, uh, he uh, added in this balcony, and also these patterns that you see on the ground, this web, this thing that, that looks like web, uh, it's actually a traditional uh, Chinese window pattern that we call bamboo, because Chinese traditional architecture windows are all made, made out of wood. So usually they will be covered with some kind of lattice, wood lattice work. And so this is a bamboo pattern that we call it. And then these rings, uh, Brian also added them. Um, they weren't originally there from the design of my architecture classmate. And so uh, quite interestingly, uh, this piece really allowed Brian and I um, to relate uh, to each other through architecture because uh, uh, he's, you know, he's in television and he's a sculptor. Um, so he's never really done anything architectural. Uh, but through this piece, uh, I got to know what kind of spaces he will be able to make and what kind of experiences he can have in them. So for the first time, we're able to, to speak about architecture and to, for me to experience his design. So let's go now further uh, to another smaller lantern where we have some great music there. Okay. Ready? Uh, yes, follow I'm ready. I'll follow, follow you. Me. Okay. So what is this music we're hearing? Yeah, this music is very special, uh, but it's a little bit hard to talk in here with the music. So I will take you to uh, the lantern that is pink, and then I can tell you about the music and also about the art here. Okay? Can you hear me? I can, yes. I was doing some work on the back end to improve your volume, and I think we can hear you better now. Okay, but it's okay, it's too noisy here to talk, mm -hmm. so I will take you to another pink lantern where it's easier to talk. Uh, I'm right behind you. <laughs> well, you know how to navigate in our project better than I do. I came by earlier and <laughs> filmed him as well, so I'm getting used to it now. And I've also been shooting a lot of video here, so I've got a lot of footage of the two of you now. It's such a beautiful piece. It's, it's a really lovely oh. example of... Uh, I worked on the artery team for many years at Burning Man, and it's a, a, a great example of the art that we, we really love to see which is um, both unique and, and unique to your culture and to your story, but also it, it, has, it has beautiful meaning to it. Um, there's clearly thought to the ways you've put things together and, and, and in how you're thinking about interactivity as well. Um, I'm, I'm curious what types of, it sounds like this space is designed for healing experiences and maybe sort of working the, the entire mind, body, spirit connection throughout the body is uh are, are these yeah. like associated with with like chakras and such how do you how is this all uh put together i would say well um we were thinking maybe just more offering the do sound and light healing and it's really then up to the folks 
Your sound's doing something strange. It popped in the middle. There we go. Sorry, there was a headset thing, I think, happening on your end. No, actually, my my headset is fine. There was just a lot of echo. I don't know if you're on speakerphone or something. But, um, uh, yeah, I've had to now. I'm running your sound through my mic so that everyone could hear because it was we were it was a little uh, low earlier. So I'm going to mute okay. myself. Yeah. So. Oh shoot. Uh, Did I continue? Oh, I don't see you in here, so I don't know if I should continue. Hi. Oh, there you are. Sorry. Oh, there you are. <laughs> no worries. Walking so, through the walls uh, when I don't mean to. <laughs> sorry? Sometimes I teleport oh. and I don't mean to. It's, it's an accidental oh. teleporting. Yeah, no worries. We, we get a lot of that sometimes. But I just wanted to make sure that I was still hurt, you know. So, um, yeah, so Brian is back, actually, and I'll let him talk uh, more about his concept of um, uh, the idea of the healing uh, uh, sanctuary. So he always had this idea to create a, a, a space to allow for sound and light healing to happen, like almost in, um, in, a, in a form of a temple, actually. We have this idea that how, how great is the temple is not just a place of remembrance and mourning, but it is actually a, a, a structure that offers healing, all kinds of healing um, services and things like that. So um, sound and light were great ways uh, for him to be able to express his art through. So uh, that's why we thought the combination of the two, a place that offers healing um, that was through sound and light was always what he wanted to do. And because then he also had these art pieces that you've seen um, that uh, he uh, had the idea of them being um, sacred pieces. And actually, uh, very funny, Brian's background is um, he uh, has a Kohen in his family, which in the Jewish tradition, uh, are, are uh, they are high priests. And it was really interesting because he made these pieces of art Maybe not with the absolute intention of them to be sacred, but somehow his audience always treat his work as sacred. Like for example, this piece over here that's behind you, um, the Fountain of Pongmai, um, he originally designed it for the Exploratorium just as a light sculpture piece that folks can interact with, uh, with the EG headset. But then um, another event uh, in the Bay Area, a private event, um, uh, asked uh, for it to be their high altar. So for, uh, it, it's, um, it's a, it's a uh, event, private event within the community. Um, and they asked for it to be the high altar and uh, also the, the other sculpture, the big one that you saw down below, Life Within Itself, um, that was a memorial for his dad. But somehow folks would always kind of like pray to it or meditate to it. So very interestingly, um, Folks, uh, his audience just always uh, understand that his, his pieces are have a sacred context to them. So Brian's back, and he's better probably at explaining these too, so I'll let him take over. Thank you so much, Tina, and thanks, Brian. really enjoyed the SIBO, but I'm going to continue my wanderings. and Enjoy your journey. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to cut together some of this video of this particular piece because it's, it's just a really lovely example of, of art in the place. So 